six. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Brittany, and guess where I'm at? At the hospital, of course, at MD Anderson. Y'all can see. But today's video is about the pros and the cons of the deep flap. I got the deep flap surgery in November of last year, so it's been almost one year. Oh, Lord. And somebody reached out to me and put a comment on one of my videos saying I should do the pros and the cons. So here it is. Um, I'm going to try to remember everything. But the first pro, of course, I want to talk about is the results because it just feels so natural. I would, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you a little bit. Okay. Is it even? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe I don't even need to unzip this. But yeah, you can see it. And I'll put some pictures. I'll put some pictures on the screen so y'all can see the results. It looks so natural. But aside from it looking natural, it feels natural. Like, it doesn't even feel like anything happened <laughs> like it's crazy um another pro i would say is the fact that you don't have to go back for any maintenance or nothing like that <clears throat> i was told like if you get the implant then you may have to go back and get another implant 10 years later or something or your body wouldn't accept the implant like not accept it but there could be complications from the implant itself and it's just a higher chance of problems with the implant that's what i was told i don't know but with this deep flap surgery, I haven't had any issues, like, at all. Um, do I regret it? Absolutely not. If I could go back, I would totally, totally do it again. Mind you, it was painful. But that's one of the cons, like, the pain. Whew. The pain from that surgery. I don't know if y'all saw my video that I did. Um, I, like, showed myself in the hospital when I was getting the surgery. And afterwards, um, yeah, if you haven't seen that, go see it because... And, um, yeah, the pain was just crazy. The pain for me came from the abdomen the most. Like, yeah, the part that had the mastectomy and the deep flabric and the reconstruction, it hurt. But what was really painful was the abdominal incision. And if you don't know, like, the abdominal incision is from hip to hip, like, similar to a tummy tuck, um, similar to a tummy tuck scar. Oh, it hurt so bad. Like, it was just like, I don't know. I can't even describe the pain, okay? And mind you, I'm not a person that can, like, tolerate a lot of pain. But if you are, then that might be, like, easier for you or something. But it was not easy for me. It was really, really not. And the problem that I had was my... I'm almost about to call myself stupid. I'm not stupid. No. But I didn't take my pain medication as directed. Like, they tell you on the bottle. And the doctor, you know, takes pain medication every six hours. But did I do that? No. I took the pain medication when I started to feel the pain crazy i know <laughs> so instead of me doing what i was told i was chasing the pain which was not good because it just was not good i should have listened to them so if y'all have the surgery I, listen to your doctor when they tell you take the pain medicine even if you don't think you need it just take it <laughs> because you don't want to be in a situation like me where you start to feel the pain and it's like it's already hit and it's too late but anyway yeah that was a con the pain and of course you have two two incisions instead of having just one so if you were to get the implant of course you just have that surgery that surgical area right here versus the deep flap you have two surgical sites which means more time in the hospital for one and also more time recovering for two and for three it costs more money but yeah as far as the aesthetics of it like because at the end of the day that's why i got the deep flap it was because of the aesthetics like i could have just stayed flat right when we have mastectomies, we can stay flat. But I chose not to be flat. I didn't want to be flat. And I wanted what was going to give me the best aesthetic result. Which I feel like felt was the deep flap. So. And then it kind of matches this other side more. Because I feel like if I have this side with like no implant and this side with an implant. Wouldn't that look kind of, you know. I feel like it wouldn't fall. It just wouldn't look the same to me. But with a deep flap, it looks more symmetrical. I mean, it looks very good. Like, I know I'm, I showed y'all the picture. I probably put it on the screen by now. But, what was another pro? I'm really trying to think. I had wrote all of these down, but I left it at home. And I was here waiting at the hospital. Oh, let me tell y'all why I'm here at the hospital. I'm getting in CAT scan. CAT scan. Because my abdomen... Hold on, y'all. My abdomen... I have been feeling a pain uh, near that surgical site on one side. So, 
it will be something like that comes and goes almost kind of like a tightening sensation every now and then i don't know if that was just look at that i have this iv in too for my cat skin i don't know if that was just for like the nerves heal, healing or something i don't know but i told my doctor about the the pain and he said well we would do a cat scan just to make sure everything's okay like you don't have any hernias or anything like that so and like I said, the pain is, it's not really painful. It's more like a discomfort. And it's like every now and then it happens. It's not like a constant thing. Like if I move a certain way, sometimes it'll, I'll feel it. But it's not painful. It's just more uncomfortable. But anyways, I guess that would be another con, huh? But I don't know if that happens for everybody. But that just happened for me. So I don't know. And then another con, I guess, would be the actual scar itself. Like you have to live with that huge scar across your abdomen. I never had major surgery before so that is definitely a con just the scars the battle wounds that you get from going through something like this is insane and y'all know how i feel about the scars and look at my arm guys i still have this burn mark from the chemotherapy leaking out when i oh they calling me okay i gotta go i love y'all if y'all have any questions let me know down in the comments below bye